Hello guys and how you all doing? Do you want to change your desktop from this? To this? If so let's get into the video. But first, if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back to the channel. And, if you are a new to my channel, welcome to Tech Fury. I make tutorials, tips, how-to videos about computers, windows, and others. So, if that's your interest, click the red subscribe button if you haven't already. To stay updated on our future videos click on the bell icon. Let's get into the video. First step we're going to change the taskbar. So for that, we're going to install a software called Taskbar XI. Go to the link in the description. In here download the two executable files. You need both of them. Because one application is the application. Second executable file is for the configurations. Let me open downloads folder. Wait I'll delete other files so you can see clearly. These are the two files we need for Taskbar XI. This is not an installation setup file, so I recommend you to copy these files to Windows Drive. Copy these two files and create a folder on Windows Drive. Windows Installed Drive will be shows a Windows 11 icon on top of it, so you can identify it. Create a folder called Taskbar XI and paste those two files into it. Now open the taskbar xi.exe file to start the application. Also open the second application to open the configuration window. Ok, as you can see taskbar has been changed and no longer show the whole taskbar. In this configuration window you can do changes to the taskbar like, no tray, hide tray area, sticky, etc. Try out these configuration by yourself, but in this video, I'm going to check no tray, and hide tray area. Then click apply to apply the changes to taskbar. Right now as you can see my taskbar icons are on left, this is because I used it that way. But for this theme it's better to set it to center. So to do that, go to taskbar settings by search on Windows search. Then go to Taskbar Behaviors and make sure Taskbar Alignment is set to center. That's much better, it's really good now. Let's go to the next step. Second step is to install Rainmeter and install the skin. Let's go to the Rainmeter website and download it. Go to the link in the description and scroll a bit and click on the download button. Now open the setup file and install Rainmeter into your Windows 11 computer. Ok, once it's successfully installed, you can see 4 default widgets on your desktop. We actually don't need them in this theme, so right click on each one of them and click unload to remove it from your desktop. Let's install the actual skin we're going to install in this video. The skin is called Drop Top 4. Go to the link in the description. Click on the really big link, click here to download Drop Top. Go to the downloads folder and find the drop top skin file, then double click and install it into your computer via Rainmeter.
Okay, this is the drop top 4 installation wizard. Click continue. In here choose the language you want, I'm going to choose English US. In here you have three choices, always show, auto hide, desktop only. You can read the description to understand what each do, but it's self-explanatory. I'm going to choose always show drop top. In here choose your preferred media player. You can choose Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, etc. I'm choosing Spotify since I'm listening to music on Spotify. In here you can choose the home button. You can choose different home button to show on the top. Free version allows you to select 7 home buttons only. I'm going to choose Windows. In here you can choose the color, default is used black dark color or you can choose color match. This will match with your Windows theme color. Right now I'm going to choose default. Everything is set now. Click on Finish Setup. As you can see now you have top bar like Mac OS. There are a lot of things we can customize in this top bar, but I'm not going to go through all of them, so just try them out one by one. Basically, you can use all the feature you had on taskbar right area you can do in here. Network information, Bluetooth, system tray icons, search, notification area, etc. Third step is to change the cursor. Go to the link on the description. This cursor called VS Cursor. In this website you have to log in, in before download anything. So make sure you have logged in, if you don't have an account just sign up, it's totally free. Extract and unzip the downloaded zip file. Then open the folder. In the folder just find the file install the INF, then right click on the file and click install. If you can't find the install button, click on the show more options and click install. Cursor has been installed. Now you have to change the pointer to the installed one. Go to mouse settings and click on additional mouse settings. Then in the pointers tab select the VS cursor and click OK. Next step is to install a clean wallpaper. I have found a really good clean wallpaper, to download it go to the link in the description. Now right click on the image and set as desktop background. As you can see it's really clean and minimalist. But still we can see our desktop icon.
It doesn't look that bad on my desktop because I really don't have much icons in my desktop. But if you have lots of desktop icons, it will be not good. So let's hide all desktop icons. Right click on anywhere in the desktop and go to view and click on show desktop icons. Last thing we're going to add is the digital clock widget. To do that go to the link, scroll down a bit, and download this file. Now open this file and install it to RainMeter. In here choose your language, again I'm going to choose English, then click continue until finish installation. In Jack's original application, go to widgets and click on the modular clocks. Then click on the download button, it will download and install it. Now go to general section and select the clock you want. I'm going to choose the clock with weather. But this clock by default is white color, we need it to be black. So go to appearance and change the color in tint color. To add to the desktop, click on active skin. Okay, this is the digital clock, let's make the center of the desktop. Right click on the widget and align to center. If it doesn't correctly center, just drag and align it center. So that's my clean minimalist desktop in Windows 11. That's it for today's video, I think this video helped you to make your desktop look amazing. If so like this video, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment if you have any question. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great day guys.